hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this meta logo animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 1080, frame rate is 30, duration is 1.30 seconds. And for the background color, I'll choose Solid White, 10, hit OK. Choose Grid and Guide option and Title Safe Action. Press Ctrl I to import our logo. I'll import this Meta logo over here drag this over here press s for scaling option and scale it so we have this logo now uh, first thing what i'll do i'll hide this logo for now go choose our ellipse tool i don't want any stroke over here so i'll delete the stroke i'll hide this and by using our ellipse tool i'll create one circle and for the fill I'll choose this eyedropper and I'll choose the color from this logo and hit OK. Select this ellipse, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab and align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it a little bit. I'll hide this logo for now. Press P for position and create one keyframe over here. Zoom in a little bit. Go to the one second press V for selection tool and I'll drag this logo over here though not logo but this circle go to the start press S for scaling option create one keyframe over here after a few keyframes again create one keyframe go to the start and let's make it zero select those keyframes and hit F9 now hit U select this position property keyframes Hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph and drag this handle over here. Just like this. Now go to the 2 seconds and I'll drag this. I'll copy this first keyframe, hit Ctrl C and hit Ctrl V. Select this one, go to the graph editor as you can see our graph is like this so I'll drag this thing over here. Now after that what I'll do, I'll go over here at this one seconds maybe, hit Ctrl D, hit P for position property and all you need to do, simply drag this thing over here. So we'll get something like this. Now after that, hit Ctrl D, press P, drag this thing over here. Again, hit Ctrl D, press P and drag this thing over here. Now just move this keyframes a little bit over here. Hit U, select all of those keyframes by holding Alt Hold. I'll drag these things a little bit over here. Move, move this thing over here. So after that, what I'll do? Select those key, all these layers. Press Control Shift C. I'll call it as circles. Call it as circles, and hit OK. Hit Ctrl D, apply fill effect on it, and for the color, I'll choose something like this and hit OK. And I'll hide this one for now. Select this circle, press R for rotation, create one keyframe, and at this point, let's make it 180. Select those keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph editor and I'll drag this thing over here. Now after that, 
select this circles and make a parent with this circles and simply just move this thing over here and drag this over here Just, just simply move this thing over here now after that this is our logo but before that what we will do we will choose ellipse and for the color I will choose something like this by holding shift create one ellipse for the color let's change it a little bit something over here and hit ok press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally align it vertically choose this logo and drag it at the top and unhide this for now select this logo and make it apparent with this shape layer sorry i'll move this thing over here now select this circle and this logo drag this over here press s for scaling option create one keyframe after a few keyframes let's make it 120 and after a few keyframes let's make it 100 again go to the start and let's make it zero select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor and simply adjust it like this select those keyframes by alt hold i'll drag this over here move this thing it should be animated at this point select this shape layer hit ctrl d hit u and i delete those keyframes and i'll drag it at the background and i'll delete this fill and for the stroke color i'll choose this color go to the start create one keyframe on for the scaling option at this point let's make it something like this go to the search option type st so we will get our stroke width and create one keyframe over here also and hit u so we can see both of our keyframes go to the start and let's make this scale zero and create one keyframe on the stroke width and for the stroke width i will choose 200 and at this point let's make it zero so if you can see our animation will look like this move this thing over here S sorry select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor and adjust it to like this so if you see we are getting this animation yep hit ctrl d drag this over here hit u move this over here select this one for the color i'll choose something like this now after that what we will do as we can see our f if i go inside the circles this is our circle animation now what i'll do right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project hit ctrl d and drag this in between these things press r4 and at the start what we'll do we'll parent with this circles but for this one i'll go inside this one select all of them press s for scaling option zoom in a little bit now we will change the scaling options for this one at this point it should be let's say 20 same over here same over here sorry make it 20 select this one go to the effect and presets and apply eco effect on it or not over here but into our main animation i'll select this circle i'll choose this option so we can see only this thing 
I'll apply eco. Let's make it up to 30 numbers. Instead of I'll, I'll choose maximum. And over here, I'll make it zero. So if I hit play, let's make it quarter resolution. You will get this kind of stuff. I'll hide this for now. If I hit play and just simply move this thing over here. So as we can see, we are getting this kind of animation. If you want, then you can apply drop shadow effect on this ones. I'll type drop shadow. Increase the distance up to 20 or let's say 10. For the opacity, I'll choose 30. For the softness, I'll choose up to 50. And for the color, I'll choose something like this. Select this drop shadow, hit Ctrl C. Select this circle, hit Ctrl V. Select this circle also, hit Ctrl V. And at this point, select all of them and hit Ctrl V. So we will get this kind of animation. If I hit play now. For this circle, go inside this circle, select all these shapes and for the this one, I'll choose some darker version of this color and hit OK. If I had go to the main animation, we will get something like this. So we will get this kind of simple pop-up animation for this Moita logo. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then, stay tuned.